I don't know how quick this video is going to be, but <laughs> as usual, because <laughs> I don't script these things. And some days I might actually write down what I wanted to say. I think I did that a few times and I just went blathered on about whatever. <laughs> so, um, But anyway, so as most people who are watching this would know, this is the original 928 slash 497 for those people who had to buy the set number 497. Um, but it's 928 to me because that's what it says on the side of the ship and it was actually sold in some countries as 928 and I honestly can't remember which way it was sold in Canada uh, because I never bought one of these off the shelf believe it or not um, it's a, one of the few classic space sets that I did not buy new out of the store um, I was 11 years old when Classic Space was released. As I keep on saying, if you're probably, probably bored already, I got the 918 for Christmas. A lot of my friends got the 928, <laughs> but the 918 was infinitely cheaper than the 928. So, um, so I actually didn't get a 928 until well into high school when I was buying uh, Lego collections for beer money. <laughs> also, sorry, uh, I got some loaned to me um when we were making lego wars um jake and i and pete we needed to make the dark doom mobile so uh we borrowed <laughs> from friends and we built the dark doom mobile from a lot of uh, 928s 924s and 918s and other space sets and then we built the dark doom mobile and i think at that point most of our friends that lent us uh lego were a little too uh the, 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 get it back and not because we didn't give it back because they just didn't ask for it back or they didn't want it back because they were already tooled for it so it ended up staying with me anyway <laughs> some sets got back to the original uh shareholders shall we say <laughs> but i think one or two maybe one or two galaxy explorers stayed with me uh and then as i say i did that whole ebay thing uh back in the whatever early 2000s and I had a good time with that. Uh, so I was collecting Galaxy Explorers. But I, again, over the years, I also got 918s. So I, I can't complain at all. And 924s. So anyway, that's the original. Uh, is it my favorite? It's up there. Uh, I, I don't like to say, it's just like when you with your kids. I, I just don't want to say that this is absolutely the best thing that they ever put out. But it is quintessentially iconic uh, for, for the Lego company. Back in when they, they released minifigs in 1978, and then they came up with this. <laughs> so, uh, the very first couple years they had minifigs, they came up with this, and they had classic castle and they had classic town. Uh, but classic space is where I was because again, I got the uh, 918. So, so when they came out with the 10497 just a couple weeks ago, uh, released, I wanted. To, and I, again, I don't want to bore you too much, but I'll just reiterate really quickly for those who haven't seen the previous videos. I wanted to build the 918. I, I heard that they were, there was a way of building the alternate versions uh, of the space sets, the 918 and the 924. And so I said, my very first 10497 that I get, I'm gonna build the 918 alternate build. And I actually downloaded the alternate builds from lego.com and I built the 918 and I loved it and it was, for me, I, I had to do it that way, just because of who I am. Because uh, like I said, 918 is the first one I got when I was a kid. And so when uh, I had to build the 918 um, retro version from the 10497. But then I got the second box. Now, so really, really quickly, uh, not to go off in this quick tangent, Sandy pre-ordered me uh, the 10, uh, 10497 when pre-orders were uh, available. That was weeks ago. It might have even months ago. She pre-ordered the, the 10497 online with lego.com when it was available to do pre-orders. Uh, and then it was released uh, August long weekend. Um, we were camping and uh, some of my friends in the States had already gotten their sets. Now, I'm not sure if they got pre-orders or if they went to the store. Uh, but they had already gotten the set. So when we got back from our camping trip, our long weekend camping trip, uh, and the box wasn't at the door, I was a little, a little uh, not happy. <laughs> I love the camping, but I wasn't happy that we didn't get the pre-order uh, because it was already in the stores and the pre-order didn't show up. 
and there's a whole thing online about you know we pre-ordered why did we even bother uh it doesn't matter I, I don't get into that kind of soap opera but what happened was is that sandy and, and i decided to take josh out for dinner on i can't remember if it was tuesday or wednesday um last week one of those two days and we decided to go to Sherway Gardens in Toronto Ontario and Sherway Gardens for you those of who you who do not know there's a Lego store <laughs> at Sherway Gardens and Sandy called uh Sherway and asked them to put that uh, because we asked uh, all right so we, we we called and they said they didn't have any in stock but they're getting a truck tomorrow uh that was going to have uh them uh on the truck and so Sandy called in the morning. Sure enough, there was some in the truck. Uh, Sandy asked them to put a si uh, put one aside for us. So when we went out for dinner, we stopped by Sherway, um, and uh, we went to the Pickle Barrel. It's fantastic, wonderful burger. Uh, but they had a ten ninety seven, four ninety seven, uh, right there with my name on it. It was fantastic. Uh, they still had stuff on the store shelves, but they were flying off. There were people buying them when we were there. So the ten four ninety seven is a great seller. Uh, you know, people want them. So, uh, you're probably around my age. <laughs> so, so anyway, so we, so I got the one we bought in the store first before I got the pre-order. So I came home, uh, built the 918 from the, one the, from the set that we bought from the store. And then on the weekend, <coughs> a couple days later, or right before the weekend, the, uh, pre-order showed up at our door. And so then I built the, the 99, the 928 or the 497. Uh, following the instructions that come with the book. So, so going from this guy, and uh, I'm just gonna hide this thing for a second. Uh, so I built that guy, and of course that guy is utterly spectacular. Uh, again, I'm not gonna go back in my nostalgic story that I've made in the last video, but absolutely fantastic. So when you get the 10497, basically you use up every single piece in the box to build this guy. When you build the 918, even with my alternate build, I can get this guy down nicely. There's there are lots of pieces left over because of course this is not nearly as big as that. <laughs> so so even with my alternate build with the extra pieces in it, um, there was pieces left over. And I said to myself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge myself. And I'm not a great builder. I'm I, I, I this isn't self-deprecating. Uh, my friend Chris is an utterly fantastic classic space builder. Uh, I am a amateur. I mean, I, yes, I did build that after you know ten years. Uh, I, I'm a, I'm an okay builder. You you will never see me on um, Lego Masters because I'm not a master builder. Um, and this isn't again self-deprecating. Uh, I build what I want to build, and I take my time building it. And, uh, you know, but some of my friends really know how, which piece goes where and blah, blah, blah. It took me like the entire week to sort out the landing gear on this thing. And I did, but, but I have fun doing it. So I don't care. Like I build my way. Uh, and therefore that would not be good for a TV show. <laughs> therefore I will never be a master builder. But I said to myself, there was a ton of pieces left over after I built this guy, you know, because look how big the, dif the difference in size is. And I even got a whole... Um, oh, here it is. I even have a whole shoebox full of pieces still from the 918 build uh, that are left over, right? So blue, gray, white, black, trans, yellow. So all those are sitting there. And uh, so even, uh, even after I built this, there's a whole bin full of pieces and there's a 928 here. Uh, and I said, well, the, the original 928 came with this guy, right? Now, they also came with crater plate and a landing pad, but I can't build those at a Lego right now. <laughs> but I said, what I'm going to do, my, my, my attempt to myself, my challenge to myself, is to try to recreate something like this little command uh, station uh, with the pieces that were left over from that build out of the box. So the, the this, or yeah, this minus these pieces and whatever pieces are left over. See if I can build that in the same kind of sense of fashion and or scale, uh, alternate scale, because of course, uh, this nine, this 928 is one and a half times bigger than that guy. So my, my new building had to be one and a half, two times bigger than the original there. So this is what I came up with. 
<laughs> so, so it is it, it was a lot of fun and, and it's not, it doesn't look like much and that's fine because it was leftover pieces <laughs> so i mean had i gone into my own collection uh, yeah i could have been a lot better <laughs> straight up it could have been a lot better and also <clears throat> straight up i i stole the 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 sliding door mechanism straight from the galaxy explorer instructions right so uh the the pieces out of this guy uh built um this door here uh which is utterly fantastic and um and so I, what i wanted to do is let's get both of them into picture i wanted to now they're mirror images of one another because when i was taking pictures i wanted them to be mirror images of one another so yes the, the antennas are on the wrong side but what i wanted to do let's put this guy up here there uh, is I wanted that, I wanted that, I wanted this, I wanted the stairs, I wanted these things, and I wanted the gray, uh, my friend called them the uh, deck or the porch. I wanted them in this build. And I didn't want it to look too, like, when I, when I finished, when I actually look at it, it looks like one of those little uh, lifeguard stations on Baywatch. <laughs> Which I didn't realize until I got done. It looked like a lifeguard station on Baywatch, probably because it was a long ramp up, but I also wanted the stairs up. Um, so I'm okay with that. Um, what I also wanted is, is because, of course, you got the big 8x8 radar dish, which just was a wonderful piece way back in the day, right? This was a wonderful piece to have, and it's, I've, I've talked about uh, little stories about that specific dish. And the antenna, which, of course... Most of them don't hold up to now. <laughs> so to try to find an old classic gray antenna uh, with the, the, the spokes doing, I mean, th even those are slightly bent. <laughs> so I think I got better ones somewhere, but I don't care. Uh, I wanted to remake that. And so and, and with the pieces that were available and that were left over, and that was a little tough. I'll tell you that straight now. It was, it was a little tough to even just try to build a building that had four walls and a roof with the pieces that were left over. But <coughs> this is the best I could do. So of course you got these guys to mimic, the, mimic these guys. You got this antenna to mimic that antenna. You got that little red trans red to mimic uh, that trans red. And of course, inside the, oh, it's not even there. All right. The other trans red is right there inside the antenna. So that can go back in there. Um, when I put it on the shelf, the antenna is too tall. So, um, so I wanted the antenna. So I used the, the 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 controllers, and of course I had to, you know, if you see it, you see it. <laughs> so you get it. But I had to come up with a way of making a massively interesting radar dish because it doesn't come with an eight by eight. It comes with four by fours, uh, which were in the bottom of the Galaxy Explorer, but not built into that guy at all. Um, so I tried to come up with something that conveys bigness with small parts. So there's a lot of little parts to make one big radar dish. And the other issue is, you know, it is what it is. And I think that's good enough, right? I, I, try, I, I gave it my best shot. A lot of little greebling, which I'm not good at, but I, you know, give it my best shot. Uh, the other thing I wanted is because if you look in this guy behind this guy, there's a control panel with the trans yellow window behind it. So this thing's neat because you can take it off the roof. <laughs> and the interior is not really that well done yet. Um, it's kind of like really nothing. <laughs> but I got the windows. I put the windows there and I put the control panels there, right? So, and, and the sides are just the, 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 the one by four black brick with studs on the side and the, and the, and the uh, tail. Uh, pieces for walls. That's it. <laughs> that, that works for me. Uh, I, I'm going to try to make it more beautiful. And, and then the door again slides just like in the uh, Galaxy Explorer. Um, so I was just using up pieces. And, and, it, and actually, in the end, uh, I can't complain about that at all because I do, I do have the overall look of that over here. And it's bigger. It's, it's you know, whatever. And has a, I, I think that honestly reminds me of that guy there. It reminds me of my the cake topper a little bit. And I, I did sniff some ideas from my cake topper <laughs> way up there on that guy there. So in the end, I'm very happy with this for my first iteration of the the command uh, little command station that came with the the 928. 
Uh, and so <clears throat> when you put those two side by side, that's pretty awesome. And when you put these two side by side, it's pretty awesome. So I'm happy with that. So, and again, all the pieces that came in this set that were not used in that guy. Now I'm gonna get another one probably before the weekend. The last one I'm gonna get personally, <clears throat> unless I come into more money, <laughs> but I wanted three because I'm gonna build a 924. Uh, and I'm gonna see what pieces are left over from that. So maybe with the pieces left over in the 924, I can enhance this. But right now, if you have, if you built that, you can build that, right? If you if you had the box of parts for that, you'll have enough parts for this. If I add, start adding the pieces from the 924, then you're gonna have to have two sets left over, two spare pieces left over from two uh, sets. But in the end, I'm happy with that. I'm uh, quite good with this, how it looked. I used the Technic beams in the bottom that you can see there. Um, and it, it, it looks okay. I mean, it's not great. It doesn't look like it was like, you know, built with unique parts that you can grab out of your collection to make it a lot smoother, better, better stairs, better everything. But considering the part limitation from uh, that, left over from that, I think it's okay. Um, I'm happy with it. I also like the fact that it's a mirror image of the original. <laughs> it goes this way instead of that way. Um, uh, the antenna, <clears throat> not that keen on it. The yellow, but that's the only piece that was there uh, that was left over. Um, I, I do like uh, the bottom and I do like the top. I just don't like the yellow in the middle because that's not, you know, this is great here and that's not. Now, Nothing I'm going to do about it because there's nothing else I can do to get the antenna that high with the pieces that were left over or even the pieces that were in the set anyway, unless I grab one of the antennas off of here. I'm not going to do that. Maybe there'll be a leftover, of like the 924 only had the one antenna. I don't know if they built two of them into the instructions and the new instructions, but we'll find out. Maybe I'll change that to be the gray antenna. <clears throat> My voice is starting to go. So that means it's bedtime. So there you go. In the end... Uh, I'm happy with what I built. Um, I'm happy with my modifications of the 918, as I mentioned before, with the with the retractable landing gear. I think that's making me happy. Um, and uh, as I say, all, I'm, uh, all I am now is missing. Uh, all I am, I can't even speak, it's late. <laughs> all that I am missing now is the 924. And hopefully that'll be done by the weekend because that looks like an utterly fantastic build again. Um, and then I'll probably do another big review on all three because that I wouldn't change a piece. I've had some friends post the pieces that they've changed and how they've modified it a little bit from the instructions. But when I was building it, I did not feel at all like I had to change anything on it. Uh, I, I can see why they did it and I understand their justifications and their sound, logical, wonderful justifications for themselves why they changed pieces. Uh, There's some pieces in here that they changed and blah, blah, blah uh, inside to make the details a little more. And they changed this to blue instead of gray, but then they're grabbing pieces from their own collection, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I cannot, for me, uh, there's nothing in the Galaxy Explorer that I would change. Uh, it's an absolutely perfect set for me. Uh, and again, if somebody else comes up with something that would make it even better, I'll look at it <laughs> myself. But I, I could not be happier with that build. It was quintessentially a solidly perfect build. Uh, this guy, I had a problem with. Not a huge problem with, because it had it did capture the, the feeling of the uh, 918. <laughs> uh, right off um, I have more 918s but those are all mods so I think all my other 918s are in a box <laughs> so uh, I had a problem with the 918 uh, the instructions uh, the build not not to disparage the, the designer because it, it's a beautiful beautiful homage to the 918 <clears throat> my big problem was the 928 and I mentioned this earlier the 928 and the 924 have retractable landing gear and the 918 just basically sat on the bottom. And I said, that's just not right. <laughs> it's not right at all. Uh, so I had to work, and I did work pretty hard to get retractable landing gear in a thing. And in the end, it doesn't fully retract, but it retracts enough to make me happy. And so now it sits 
as high or just a little bit lower than the Galaxy Explorer. It's not sitting on the ground. So I am, I am okay with this. Uh, so the, but overall, you look at this now, besides the bottom piece and the, as I mentioned, the, the changes I made to antenna to get the bottom piece, to get the retractable landing gear pieces that I needed. Uh, those only changes that you can see on top is the antenna. Um, and the interior, obviously, because I said in the other video, I wanted the guy to sit up straight like he does in here. Right. So I wanted him to sit up straight and have like a sort of laying down in the steering wheel on top of him, like it shows in the original instructions. This is what I wanted and now it's done. But the entire top of that is exactly the same as the instructions, uh, as I said, except for that and the interior and uh, basically the entire wing setup is identical. Uh, except for the center part, the in reinforcements in the center. So not too many changes, not too many drastic changes to the 918 instructions to get to here. So again, the designer was fantastic, did a beautiful job playing, a, making beautiful homages, um, uh, retro, um, to, to make the 928 to 924 and the 918 into spectacular re rebuilt sets for, for now and uh, for a re-release. So I'm not going to complain about this at all. I, I would love to shake the hand of the guy who designed this, uh, these three, and uh, say thank you, because this was absolutely fantastic. Um, let me pull that aside there. Let me put that there. Put that there. And you can see, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's a nice shot. I can get this guy out of the shot. Uh, oh, I can put him behind behind because you know that's where we're here um that'd be up for here <laughs> there you go um so in the end uh i couldn't be happier uh this was this right now this week was a fantastic week for me appreciating the lego company and the efforts they put into the fandom they didn't have to do this they didn't, I know it's their 90th anniversary and they wanted to do something to celebrate the fans of Lego, but they could have completely ignored the space guys because we would still go on building space layouts and doing shows and blah, blah, blah. But the fact that they put this effort into this set uh, and, and, and it, has, it captures the entire essence of the original uh, and with, with the added bonus of being uh, more... Uh, modern uh with a lot more doodads and gizmos and a lot more effort put into it uh because of course they didn't have those pieces back then but this was a great homage to that guy this was a great homage to this guy uh i'm hoping that is a great homage to that guy <laughs> for me uh but in the end that's what i had to do um so that's it that's all i'm going to go to bed now i want everybody out there to stay safe um here's my standard sign off greeting uh be kind to your neighbors if you can uh if you don't don't get into a situation like we did where you have to write a book about it <laughs> so, uh but if you do uh let me know and i can help you um <laughs> but, and i'm not gonna talk about that right now uh i will probably make another video when we get the next box and uh i will probably talk about the 924 uh which back then a really really quick um preview the 924 when I was younger was not a set that I was remotely interested in. I remember seeing it in the in the brochures when I got that guy and the rest of the classic space sets that I got. Uh, I was not remotely interested in the 924. It did not, even in the picture, it did not seem to be a set that I wanted. Uh, and so I really didn't, didn't focus on it. I wanted that guy because I already had him and I wanted that guy because he was awesome. Um, and I wasn't, uh, I remember I had about half a dozen of those guys <laughs> before I even thought, maybe I should build a 924 to see what I'm missing. <laughs> so, so I built a 924 and it was nice. And, and again, I have three in the layout. Like if you look at my layout, I have three of each. I have three of those, three of those, and three 924s. And I only have two Starfleet Voyagers, which is shocking to me. <laughs> in the layout, not that I own. I won't tell you how many I own. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, uh, so that's a preview. I, well, I'll talk more about the 924 when we actually when I actually start building it. So let's continue on my standard 
greeting, parting ways for this video. Uh, I want everybody to stay safe, take care, um, be kind to one another if you can. And uh, know that I appreciate you guys watching these videos and um, I, I will keep on making them even if you don't appreciate them because I like making them. And I will talk to everybody soon. Take care, bye.